This presentation is counting in non-decimal base. We're going to use the non-decimal base board. For this presentation, we're going to use base 3. We'll be representing our units with a small green cube. At this time, I can tell the students that in base 3, when I reach 3, I'll exchange for the next highest value. In base 3, the next highest value is base 3, 1, 0. Here I have 1, 2, 3 green cubes. I'll exchange this for the next highest value. I'll represent this with a small blue rectangular prism. Now I can count out again, 1, 2, 3. I can exchange my three blue rectangular prisms for the next highest value, the flat red rectangular prism. 1, 2, 3. Now I'll exchange this for the next highest value, which is represented with our larger green cube. 1, 2, 3. I'll exchange these for the next higher category, represented by the larger blue rectangular prism. 1, 2, 3. I'll exchange these for the larger red flat rectangular prism, which shows our next highest value. 1, 2, 3. I can exchange the three red rectangular prisms for the largest value represented on our decimal board, the largest green cube. After this, we can start deconstructing our board to label the values of each category. When we work with the base 10 decimal board, we label each of our values as categories. We will continue to do this in all of our base work. We will be remaining in base 3 for this example. This means our values increase three times as we move left to the next category. We start in the units category. Our units are 1. If we take 1 three times, the next category to the left is 3. If we take 3 three times, that gives the next category a value of 9. Nine three times gives us the value of two seven for the next category to the left. As we continue, we increase two seven three times to give the next category a value of eight one. Eight one increased three times is two four three in the next category. For our last category, two four three increased three times equals seven, two, nine.